Hey guys, welcome back to TechRapt. Droid on time OS in short dot OS got a new version recently, which brought a lot of changes to the ROM UI, making it look a lot closer to Android P. This is a review of dot OS version 2.3 running on Xiaomi Mi A1. This is the default launcher you get with the ROM, which is a customized launcher with pixel launcher features. You can access launcher settings by long pressing anywhere on the empty space of the home screen. Under home screen, you can change few things like enabling bottom search bar, changing grid size of columns, rows and the number of dock icons. Under app drawer, you can display app suggestions, enable top search bar and you can also hide apps from the app drawer. Under app icons, you can customize notification dots, change icon pack shapes and also you can enable dark background color for the icons. This is the app drawer which looks a lot like that of the pixel launcher. Now let's go to the settings system about phone. As you can see the model number is Mi A1, dot OS version is 2.3.1 based on Oreo 8.1 and the build date is June 17 with June 5 security patch. Moving on to the new features of the ROM, we have a new redesigned Android P style quick setting and notification shade. Quick toggles are rounded now and they are horizontally aligned. This is a new setting panel with a top search bar and colored icons just like Android P. Apart from the generic apps, we have some ROM specific apps like .OS Stats, .Papers which is a wallpaper app. The collection of this app is huge but one drawback is you can't save the wallpaper, you can only use it to set a wallpaper. FM radio app is there which is working great, a recorder app which can record audio as well as the screen with audio from mic. There is no audio equalizer and the camera app included is a pretty basic one with very minimal features. So if you wanna take better advantage of the camera, you have to either use the Google camera app or Mi camera app via Mrs. module and that's about it. There's a Wi-Fi and internet tab, you have Wi-Fi, mobile network, hotspot and VPN. Wi-Fi is working fine, no issues with mobile network, VLT works great but there is no video calling feature and finally hotspot is also working normally. Next we have connected devices tab where you can enable and connect Bluetooth devices, enable screen casting and change USB connection settings. Under apps and notifications we have recently opened apps at the top, notification settings where you can enable swipe fingerprint for notifications, app permissions, set default apps for few services like browser, home app, phone and SMS. Next we have emergency alerts, special app access and picture in picture mode didn't work for me. Next up is .UI Center where you can tweak the interface, apply dark theme, change overlay color, accent color and some other UI settings. Under .Extras you can customize status bar, change battery icon style, clock and date, enable and disable status bar icons, show net activity in the status bar. With respect to navigation bar customizations, you can enable on-screen navigation bar, adjust its height and width, change navigation mode and customize navigation bar layout. You can customize quick settings, change recent UI, you can use full screen, status bar only or navigation bar only and enable memory bar in the recent menu. Under lock screen customizations, you can enable face auto unlock which automatically dismisses lock screen with face unlock enable and it takes only about 1 or 2 seconds at most for face unlocking. Also you can change clock style and date style here. Under system you have app ops, buttons, you can change actions for volume buttons, power button and hardware keys here. This is a power menu, you can enable advanced reboot, you can disable hardware buttons, adjust brightness of hardware keys and also you can disable them completely. Under general tweaks, you can enable three finger gestures for screenshot and some other weather settings. Under display tab, you have brightness level, night light, adaptive brightness, both are working great, sleep timer, auto rotate screen, phone size, display size, screen saver, tap to wake which is working fine as you can see, bunch of themes to pick from stock, pixel red, green, whatever according to your preference and theming also applies to the on-screen navigation bar here. Under UI style, you can set it to wallpaper based or you can change it to either light UI or dark UI or black UI which looks great with AMOLED panels. Ambient display also works but it is not that efficient with this ROM. Next we have sound settings, storage tab, under security and lock screen you can set fingerprint unlock which takes about 1 or 2 seconds to unlock, face unlock which works great as you have already seen. 
this memory bar which has info about percentage of memory use and free memory, user and accounts tab which has user info and accounts info from various apps and services. Under system tab you have language and input, under gestures you have swipe fingerprint for notifications, double press the power button for camera app and lift to check the phone. Installation process of .OS is same as all other audio ROMs, boot your phone to the TWRP, change slot by going to the reboot tab, select install tab and install TWRP installer zip file. Now boot your phone back to the recovery to finish installing TWRP. If you have already installed TWRP then you can skip the above few steps. Now select wipe from home screen and pick system, data and cache partitions and swipe to confirm wipe. Now go back, select install tab and pick .os rom file, gapps file and widgets file if you wanna root your phone and swipe to confirm flash. Once it is done, reboot the system. So overall the rom is smooth, I've been using this rom for more than a week now and it is stable enough for using it as a dilate driver. Everything works fine, no issues with the sensors, audio and video playback is fine and banking apps also work good. I have noticed UI glitches sometimes but that didn't affect the performance at all. And regarding benchmarks, Anti2 version 7 score is 75,990 with Geekbench 4 single core score is 861 and multi core score is 4253. So that's about Dot .OS version 2.3 on Mi A1. Hit the like button if you find this video helpful and if you want more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.